of the questions I get asked a lot is how to elevate the quality of your vocal productions in your song in Cubase. And one of the great ways is to really get focused on harmonies because they can make the difference between an amateur sounding track and a really professional sounding track. Now Cubase has some great tips for this. So let's take a quick look at what we can do. So let's take a listen to our song. We have kind of a basic piano, vocal, and a ballad. So we have our piano part here, and if I wanted to look at it in my score editor, we can see that it's pretty typical piano part. We'll close that, and what I want to do is to actually figure out what chords are being used from that. So I'm going to go right-click after selecting the event, go to the chord track, and say create chord symbols. I usually leave the top two checked and hit OK. And now it's automatically generated a chord track indicating exactly what chords are part of the music there. Now when I double click, most of us know that Cubase has a very audio editor. So if I select the very audio, it could do an analysis and now we could see our vocals laid out for us. Now one of the interesting things is you could actually colorize the events based on the chord track. So when I see a green note, I, that means it's within the chord, a blue note within the scale, and a red note is out of key. So if I wanted to just kind of quickly try a different melody. So let's move that to, let's say, a red note. So this will probably sound bad. So green, good, red, stop. And now if I wanted to come here. So, but let's say if I wanted to listen to this next part of the vocal. And let's say I wanted to do harmonies there. But let's say our singer isn't around or the singer's having difficulty with harmonies because often singers don't practice singing harmonies with themselves. So I'm going to grab the range selection tool and I'm going to select that range. And now that we have the chords determined from the piano part, I'm going to go to my audio menu and we're going to choose generate harmony voices. So I'm going to do four harmony voices and what it's going to do is automatically create the vocal harmonies for me so now we can listen to it and now i have the ability to select all of these parts and i'll just hit the enter key and we can now see all of our different harmonies laid out for us so i could see individual parts and I could select these parts and again green means it's in the chord blue within the scale and red out of scale so if I wanted to again just change the harmonies here I could say let's just try this And let's try to move that to another green note, see how that sounds. And with the other parts, if I wanted to just select, I could see all four voices. Now some people can't figure out how to move these particular voices here. They'll notice that it snaps back. If you wanted to freely change the harmonies, just select the tracks here and then you'll see under chords you just want to set this to off and now when we select these each of the voices can be freely moved however you want it to be so as you can see it's incredibly powerful and again using a combination of vocal tuning capabilities in combination with the chord track can automatically create musically correct harmonies that you can edit very simply. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.